Thanks for supporting the channel by clicking the links in the description box. And thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And now let's get into this conversation. What's up, everyone? I was debating whether I was going to have a conversation about this topic or not, but I'm going to try to make it as brief as possible because this situation greatly disturbs me, as it should a lot of people. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the details and allegations that presents itself against this guy who calls himself Brother Polite. I don't know a whole lot about him, so I'm going to call him by his government name, Michael Nowak. And he may have, because I've just learned about this person recently, over 300,000 followers on his social media, one of his social media platforms and has a, I guess, a large, I will say the word cult. Yeah, cult following on his YouTube channel as well. I could care less. I really get disgusted when I see situations that involve cults because for the most part it tends to be the leader is some i know beauty is in the eye of the beholder but it tends to be some unattractive guy and the guy uses the power of words to infect the minds of the people who become their followers and words are extremely powerful but the minds to be honest are weak that's why actually the Bible says that we have to renew our minds daily because the mind definitely is weak. It is easily influenced. You have to truly renew your mind on a very, very regular basis, several times a day, not just every day, once a day, in order to build up your strength to prevent yourself from being manipulated, from being enticed, from being coerced. And that's why, unfortunately, there are so many people that get caught up in these types of followings. And I actually did a podcast on my Apple, iTunes, Spotify podcast years ago called don't drink the Kool-Aid. I did actually part one and part two because I was talking about this. Cults is something that has always just disturbed me. And I remember being a young girl and seeing a news headline about the, I believe they were saying it was like um, the anniversary. They called it an anniversary of the Jim Jones massacre, Jonestown massacre. And when I saw all of these dead bodies lying out face down, helicopter footage of all of these people that were laid out dead, that freaked the hell out of me. And I remember asking questions like, what in the world was this? Because this actually happened when I was, I don't even think I was born yet when it actually happened. So learning about it years later, it spooked me. So all of these different cults that have been exposed over the years and there are there are so many cults honestly the numbers are it, the numbers are large there are large following cults they're small but they're all over the world and the reason why people are able to build a cult following is because of the weakness of the minds of people and the strength of words so cult is you know the first four letters of the word culture culture can be a great thing cult not at all consciousness being conscious of course we want to be conscious but the first three letters of that word is con and unfortunately a lot of people in this so-called conscious community are con artists period so I'm not going to, like I said, get too much into the allegations of what he has been 
charged with, because he's been charged, he was arrested, he's out on bail. Uh, I'm gonna talk about what his attorney said. So I'm gonna play that clip and then I'm going to continue with my conversation. Suspect surrendered here at the Miami Beach Police Department earlier this week. Police charged him with sexual battery of a 14 year old girl. We did speak with his lawyer um, earlier tonight who says that these charges are false. This is the mugshot of 37-year-old Michael Nowak Jr., also known as Brother Polite, to his more than 300,000 Instagram followers. Miami Beach police arrested Nowak this week for alleged sexual battery of a 14-year-old girl in a hotel room in February. Police say the alleged victim was the daughter of a woman he was romantically linked to. Defense attorney David Terrace says his client is innocent. Once the evidence is produced, uh, that he is going to be exonerated. Uh, so yeah, not guilty, nothing else. According to the police report, Noack, a motivational speaker and author who lives in L.A., asked the woman if he could take her daughter to an after party at a club in Miami. The report states Noack took the teen to his hotel after seeing that the club was closed. Police say the suspect gave the teen alcohol and started dancing and touching the teen inappropriately groping her breast in her thighs and buttocks. It goes on to say Noak tried to force the teen to perform oral sex on him. The teen allegedly passed out and woke up to Noak trying to make her throw up. These are serious allegations, but in any situation, there is always motive. Um, there is always uh, a lot behind the scenes uh, that the public is not going to be able to see. All right, so... Basically, what is his attorney trying to do? Of course, his attorney is going to be working with him to build up a defense in this situation. But w the, the words that the attorney said, you know, he could have just said, you know, my client is claiming innocence or my client is, is denying all allegations in this matter. But for him to specifically say in every situation there is motive, and in every situation, there are things going on behind the scenes that you're not privy to. That's not true. That's not true. And I mean, that's not in every situation. There are a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Yeah, there may be things that not everybody knows about. And of course, we don't know all of the details about this situation. But when he says in every situation, there is motive. He's trying to, again, infect the minds of the people the you know the weakness of the mind using the strength of his words to put out there to say there's a motive in this situation and there are people that are out here that want to take my client down so that's what's going on in this situation you'll find out more later stay tuned listen i'm sorry i know that there's going to be a trial unless he pleads guilty because look he could plead guilty to I don't want to even say a lesser charge, but he could plead guilty to get less time if he doesn't want to take his chances chances in going through with the trial because it happens all the time. And unfortunately, there have been people who've gotten caught up in the system that really weren't guilty of anything, but because they did not have the money to defend themselves in the system, they pled so that they could not have to spend the amount of time that they would have normally gotten sentenced to if they went through a trial and were found guilty. So we know that happens. Yeah, it does. But with this situation, I feel that the attorney is trying to infect and affect the minds of the possible jurors that would be on this jury when this situation does come up for trial. And I don't like the words that he spoke. Of course, defense attorneys, they have to defend their clients. And this isn't some appointed attorney by the courts because the man does not have the money. He's got the money. So he's got the money. So the attorney's got the time. So yeah, he's going to try to defend his client. But for him to just come out and say those words, it was absolutely disturbing. That disturbed me a lot. And of course, all of the allegations and the charges that he has, has been extremely disturbing to hear about this. I didn't know anything about this guy prior to this. I've heard things about the conscious community, but I don't follow anybody in that sector. So I could care less about it because again, I feel like a lot of that consciousness is con. 
C-O-N, period. And I'm not saying nobody in that community speaks any truth whatsoever, but you have to like learn how to eat the meat and spit out the bones. There's a lot of people that just follow everything that these people say to the death. And that's why there's so many issues in the world today. But I digress. With this situation, what's even, I don't wanna say more disturbing, but in a way maybe, if it's not on the same level of being disturbed with the allegations that he has and the things that he's been charged with doing, is the fact that he was with this young woman in the first place. Like, where was the mother? And I'm not saying this to be like those people that would say, she is the one that needs to be charged and not him. I'm absolutely not saying that at all. I'm saying that she should be a co-defendant. She, I believe, also deserved to be charged because I can't think of for the life of me why this woman, mother, whether she was a longtime girlfriend or not, would allow her 14-year-old daughter to be with this man and not be in her presence. That should never happen. That should have never happened. And I'm sorry. I... <laughs> Even if she found out what happened immediately and reported it to the authorities or the next day or whatever, I don't understand why she wasn't charged as well. Because in my view, I feel like that's neglect. I don't want to say that she should be charged with the same charges that he has. I'm not saying that, but I believe that it's, simi it, it, it's similar to when someone is... I don't, I don't even want to put it that way, but you hear about people who have just gotten charged because they were in the car with the person that was guilty or in the, the, you know, on the scene with the person that was guilty, even if, even if they didn't know what was going on, they didn't know what was going down, they got charged too. I have a family member that happened to many, many years ago. And it's just, it's one of those things that's not fair. But with this situation, she allowed her daughter to be with this man. And she wasn't in her in her daughter's um, care. You know, well, her child wasn't in her care and her being with this man. That should have been the only time her daughter should have been around this man if she was in the vicinity as well. And the thing about him taking, asking him, he, him asking her if he can take her daughter to a nightclub what nightclub is allowing 14 year old children in there i don't know i don't know maybe it was teen night <laughs> I, I i don't know that i'm just making light of that situation but i just don't understand that either i don't know the whole club scene and the club culture either so that's that but i don't know of any nightclubs that are allowing 14 year old children to go in so if he asked her if he could take her daughter to a nightclub and she said okay that that never should have happened she shouldn't even allow him to take her daughter to Chuck E. Cheese and she wasn't there I'm just being real because she should have been with her daughter at all times she is the protector of her child and as devastating as these charges are and as devastating as the things that he is accused of doing is it is absolutely even as devastating to know that this mother allowed her 14 year old daughter to be with this man and she was not around. So I don't know. I feel like there's some more going on there. I'm not trying to be like the attorney to say that, you know, he's going to get exonerated. I don't believe that because I believe what happened happened. I don't believe that this mother tried to set him up and she did these things using his DNA <laughs> on her daughter to set him up. I'm, I'm sorry. She definitely is guilty of neglect by allowing her daughter to be with this man and she was not there. But the other stuff, I'm sorry. I don't think that she did that. I, I just don't. I don't believe that at all. But the things the attorney said, he's definitely doing the types of things that his client does using the power of his words to affect 
the minds of the weak and some of those weak minds may wind up being on the jury in the jury pool for this case when it comes to trial but i'm just wanting to know what you guys think as well because i really just wanted to share that all of the allegations are extremely disgusting it's very very sad i cannot fathom what this young lady is going through and who knows if this was the first time i don't know or the first person that this has happened to i would venture to say probably not because unfortunately when you have these people who are these cult leaders and some people you know feel like well they can have whoever they want because he has all of the money and he's got the access and all of these followers and these women are flocking to him and they would do whatever they want for him but when people get in those types of positions especially these cult positions it's not about them just sitting there accepting what people are giving to them freely it's about the power and that power to be able to overcome someone who is not just there to just freely give themselves is what really gets them going it's what really fuels their fire is is sad it's disgusting you know you see a lot of this types of type of stuff go on and the um flds the that cult sect of the mormons not all mormons do that stuff but there is a sect of the the mormons called the flds there's been several documentaries and shows about them escaping polygamy and all those different things where these little children are groomed and you would have like a 12 year old being married to a 65 year old man and it's just disgusting but it's nothing new but to hear these things like i said it is the strength of the words affecting the weakness of the mind culture is cool cults are not being conscious is great, but a lot of it involves cons. So let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And till the next time, look, I'm just being beautifully honest. <laughs>